A drone operated by U.S. forces killed Iran's top security and intelligence commander, General Qasem Soleimani, early Friday at Baghdad International Airport in a strike authorized by President Trump. Here's a look at the deadly capabilities of the United States MQ-9 Reaper drone. With a range of 1,150 miles and the ability to fly at altitudes of 50,000 feet, the MQ-9 Reaper system is an armed, multi-mission, medium-altitude, long-endurance, remotely piloted aircraft designed primarily for offensive strikes, according to the U.S. Air Force. The 4,900-pound drone can also conduct surveillance, assist in search and rescue missions and allow U.S. forces to conduct irregular warfare operations, according to the Air Force, which proposed the system in hopes of ramping up military operations overseas. The Reaper, which became operational in 2007, has a wingspan of 66 feet and a cruising speed of roughly 230 miles per hour. It's operated remotely by a pilot and a sensor operator and costs $64.2 million per unit, which includes four aircraft, according to its fact sheet. 2015, the Air Force had 93 MQ-9 Reaper drones in its arsenal. The aircraft is larger and more robust than its predecessor, the MQ-1 Predator, and is capable of annihilating targets with AGM-114 Hellfire missiles or other munitions. In a rare public sighting, the MQ-9 was spotted giving a flyover at roughly 800 to 1,000 feet last month at Nellis Air Force Base in southern Nevada, the Aviationist reports. It was nearly silent, the website reported. The flyover, the first of its kind at Nellis, sent a collective shiver up air show viewers' spines. It was a significant acknowledgement of the rapidly evolving and expanding role of remotely piloted aircraft in the U.S. Air Force.